From playing Helltivers 2, there's a couple of ways to get levels, but which one is the fastest out of all of them? I found that there's about three different options so far, and the first one is going to be the obvious way to level up. The second one is kind of like easy mode, and the third one, in my opinion, feels a little bit like cheating. Now, these work on both the terminate and automations, so don't worry. Let's dive into it. The obvious way is to just play missions and increase the difficulty each time. On trivial or easy difficulty, you don't get any extra. On medium, you get 25% extra, then it goes up to 50 with challenging, then it goes up to 75 with hard, extreme is 100, suicide is 150, impossible is 200, and hell dive is 250% more experience per round. So the obvious way to get more XP would be just bump that up each time. Like and subscribe. Clearly, if you can withstand hell dive on every single mission, Go for it. But if you can't, then I recommend, you know, staying around six or seven. That's where I've found that it's the most fun for me. And then I also feel like I'm not standing still when playing this sort of mode of leveling up. Can this be a huge pain in the butt? Yeah. Does it feel kind of like you should be able to level up faster? Well, yeah, you, you might be able to. But it's just going through, knocking out the level sets, or joining guys who are going to be knocking out the level sets. And it's kind of how the game was made to be played. This also will help you get more rare and extra rare samples as you move up in the levels. So that is one of the benefits of this one. All right, the next one is what I call easy mode. Any player can do it. You can do it on most planets. What I found is you just want to be looking for those illegal broadcast missions, okay? Then what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and pack your favorite auto cannon, quasar cannon, or any other explosive weapon that you love. And also, don't forget your best set of democracy spreading jam jams, man. All our strats are kind of unnecessary, but you can pack them if you want. And then also, I like to grab that stamina enhancement booster, just because running is pretty neat. Go ahead and drop yourself in between the extraction point and the main objective. You land just within range of the broadcast station, you'll be able to shoot it immediately when you get down. And then you can run to the extraction point right after that. You can usually also pick up quite a few samples just around the pickup area. So this usually gets your mission time to about three minutes, at least on the ground, and about five minutes total with the beginning credits and the ending credits. So about five minutes total for that whole bit, but that's a lot faster than running around in a mission for 20 to 40 minutes. That's bam, mission done. You get about 200 to 250 XP out of this, and that'll be moving you up the ranks pretty all right. Does this seem incredibly boring, and should you probably find a better thing to do with your life? Maybe, but it works. You're not providing too much help to Super Earth here, but this is the XP bit. So for this last option, I bet you're wondering, you know, what, what could it be? What other option could there be that you could gain XP off of in a reasonable amount of time that could be any faster than one of these other two options? Well, I'll tell you what. Um, I call this option cherry picking, and it's... It feels kind of scummy, not gonna lie. Every time I've done it, I've felt a little bit scummy. But essentially what you're gonna do is you're gonna find a planet. Doesn't matter if it's bugs or bots. You're gonna go in there, probably pick um, level six or level seven. And you're gonna be looking for those destroy the bugs or thin the herd missions kind of deal where you're just gonna be killing bots or bugs and that's just gonna be your whole gig. But you're not gonna find a mission for yourself to start. You're going to be finding a mission that someone else is doing and you're just going to hop in on that and you're just going to continue to hop in on everyone else's game hopefully they get part of the way through by the time you hop in so that you can just just keep cruising through just keep cruising through because those ones usually you come in you can set up some sentries throw down some stratagems real quick and pretty much level the map pretty quick i like to do this on impossible difficulty just because that's how you can get through it the fastest, I think, and still get a reasonable amount of XP. Doing this fashion, I've had quite a bit of success leveling up pretty quick. Um, but that being said, it does feel very scummy. So after looking at all three of these options, I decided to do a little math based on the experiences that I've had with each one of these sort of play styles. Granted, you could earn quite a bit more if you're going up into the higher difficulties, but I'm not really at that skill level as I feel like most players are. So with all these options that we've discussed, which one is actually gonna get you to where you wanna go the fastest? Well, I've done a little bit of math based on the 
numbers that I've grabbed off of the missions that I've played using these three different sort of play modes. So off the normal one, you're, you're looking at 20 to 40 minute missions at level six, that's gonna give you between 400 and 1000 XP or between like 900 to like 3000 XP per hour. I've definitely played through like a 40 minute mission that we got done in 30 ish or so and we only made out of there with like 400 xp and that's happened a couple of times the easy mode with about five minute total missions at level one is going to give you between 200 and 250 xp and this can be done solo and you're going to be getting between 2400 and 3000 xp per hour doing this method so that's pretty pretty all right i think the main drawback here is that it's incredibly boring to just play the same thing over and over and mainly you're just waiting in one place for two minutes straight for the extraction to show up for the cherry picking this is probably the the cream of the crop but also i feel like it's kind of like the dirt bag way the cherry picking method is usually relying on that 10 minute missions you can have shorter ones of course if you drop in on someone who's five minutes through their mission and it's already gotten done killing part of the bugs or part of the bots doing that at level six is going to net you between 500 and 550 xp per mission and about 3000 to 3300 xp per hour just running through that getting to level 20 is going to take you 23,900 xp doing the normal way it's going to take you between 8 and 26 hours and 30 minutes ish of gameplay to go and get you there running the easy mode it would take you about 8 to 10 hours of gameplay to go and get up to level 20. Running the cherry picking, we get a little bit more efficient and that's gonna take you between seven hours and 15 minutes to eight hours of gameplay. So you can get there pretty quick. You could probably knock it out in a day if you wanted to. I mean, cause that's, a, that's an eight hour work day right there. I just worked on work, leveling up. In the end, it's just on how you wanna play the game. I honestly like playing the normal way. I like going through the missions and just enjoying the scenery, enjoying the, the contest, enjoying the each individual missions with its little ups and downs and this procedurally generated world. It's a lot of fun. Why would you want to fast forward it? Like and subscribe.